Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jam coming back at you with another fab wig review. Um, just real quick, I found out this was the mommy wig. I know on my last review, I said I wasn't sure exactly which wig this was. This particular unit, um, it was the last one, so I only paid ten dollars for it, and it was a hundred percent human hair. Now, I have washed the unit since I've um worn it as you see after washing it it really doesn't snap back as I was told it would do I don't have any type of product on the hair I just washed it um, I actually kind of like the look it, it reminded me of like almost like a cute messy look but I still put it on today because it wasn't too hot today but I didn't feel like a whole lot of hair I have been wearing my uh, Rion wig which I did another review for that um, by the B Shea collection you can uh, find that in the midst of my videos but this is the mommy wig. It's 100% human hair. And this is the wig after it's been washed. Um, and it doesn't have any product on it whatsoever. And I kind of like the wig, actually, without any product. But I do plan to use some curling mousse on here. But on to the next. So I'm here with another fabulous wig find. As you know, if you've been keeping up with me, um, I'm always on a hunt for nice wigs and I made it a habit now to go in the stores and look at the wigs that they have on sale per se the ones that be ten dollars or less I had a bad habit of not looking at those wigs because I just assume you know they're gonna be ugly wigs you know they that cheap they're gonna be ugly not the case anymore um, I found a fabulous wig today uh, by the Euro Collection, and this, and I think the packages, packages, <laughs> the packaging for the wig itself, I thought was pretty nice. Tag comes, and it's this um, Rodeo One, uh, Rodeo I Designer Cut Wig Series by the Euro Collection. Now, um, this wig um, I got in a TT One uh, B Burgundy. In the style, I would say it's an updated version of a mullet, basically. And I know young ladies are paying bucks to get this hairstyle today. So when I find something that I know that's in style, that girls are actually paying a lot of money to get, and I find it in a version of a wig, and the wig actually looks pretty darn nice. Um, I really think I found a good deal per se. I've only paid $5.99 for this particular unit. Um, it has a bang, a really thin bang. That's what I like about it. Let me back up to show you a better view. So as you see, I mean, it's a really nice wig. Um, and I had the chance to get it in a lighter color, but I've been, again, I've been so stuck on my 1B phase. I got it in a 1B burgundy. I almost got it in a um, a 1B burgundy, 144.27, the, the three colors. But since I have another wig like that already, I figured, you know, let me just get something, you know, a little different. So I'm going to try this wig on for you guys. soon as I get the tag off. I always find myself doing the same thing with these tags. But this one seems pretty easy. And it is. So just give me a second here. And this is the tag. Uh, let me see here. This wig does not take any heat from what I see here. Because it clearly says keep it away from excessive heat source. And y'all just saw my bad manicure. I need to take that off. I'll probably do that tonight. So let me take off the mommy wig here. Uh. Mm. 
Okay. And again, here she goes. Um, Y'all get a two for one on this video. Okay. And so now we're going to try on what I call the updated version of the mullet. <laughs> so let me adjust the clips on her. Okay. Yeah, it should just wash my hair too. Okay. Hope y'all don't hear my neighbors. They are really loud and they are outside. Okay. And that's standard wigs, you know, no tags, just the standard clips. Um, she does have the tabs. I love wig tabs right here. And she has the logo designer cut inside of the wig. And she's a light wig also, very light. So let's go here. Ooh, I can't see, I can't see. Okay. Okay, here we go. I must say, I love this wig, y'all. I'm, I'm loving it. I think I need to go out and probably get this in the other color that I did not get just to have it. For the price, it's like, why not? So let me comb her. And I would have the wrong comb. But I'm going to still work with this. I don't feel like getting up to get the right comb. Okay. Love, love, love this wig, especially the bang. I love I love the fact that this bang is so chiseled. It's like chiseled to perfection. It's not too thick. It um it lays just right. Okay. Okay. Voila. This wig, not much you really you really gotta do to it. Once it comes out the pack, um, I would say that it's pretty much a shake and go. Uh you adjust it to your liking, you comb it. Um the bang on this wig is really tapered. It's really tapered, really nice. Uh, let me show you. Let me, you know, if you never finish off a wig, let me put on some lipstick. My favorite right now, Kaor. Love you. I, I, I love this color to death. I mean, as you see, it's, it's about gone. I'm, it's time for me to just order another one because... I was looking for a really um, natural color lipstick, and I found it. I was a little nervous at first, but I'm addicted to this color. I thought I was addicted to pink, but this right here, I love it to death. So let me. Okay. So I'm done. This wig is gorgeous. I love it to death. Let me back up some. Um, again, these are the tabs on the side here. Uh, and now that I look at it on the screen, I think I am going to run out and get this wig again in another color. And you can actually pull what I call the mullet to the side. It's shedding just a little bit, not a whole lot. 
that's what's coming out of uh, you see it's, I mean it's very little shedding but I expect that with straight wigs it's not that much shredding at all you know some wigs you can pull it out the pack and there's a ton of hair but I mean you can wear it like this let me give you a front view do I got a hump that's my braid y'all okay but front view you show this wig on the side and then in the back let me put it in the mullet style that's what I call it the mullet oh, like a sexier version of the mullet here to the side and let me show you the way from the back Okay, and then the side again. And that was pretty much it. This was a really quick review. Um, again, this is from the Euro Collection uh, Designer Cut Wig Series. Um, in the color TT1B Burgundy. I think I'm going to definitely go snatch up another one of these wigs while they still have them. Um, I love the bang on this wig. This might be the wig for the week, y'all. I might have to switch up on Rian, but uh, this might be the wig for the week. Then again, and if you want to know what Rian is, here's her tag here. Uh, this is the wig that I've been wearing. Um, but now that I don't try this on, this might be the wig for the week. I might have to do it any, many, many more. But till next time, diva, 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 ladies and gents, rate, review, comment, subscribe, um, like my Facebook fan page, likes make me happy. And um, that's pretty much it. And um, I might try to do another uh, giveaway. Um, probably in a couple of weeks or so. You never know. It might be this wig. Who knows? If you like this style, this the wig for you. This just might be. It all depends. I have to go back and see if they have any more. Hopefully, they, they have the one that I left behind. I should have just got it, but um, I didn't. I just got this color here. So, therefore, if it's there, if it's there, if it's not, then, you know, they had a, another wig that... I was kind of on the fence about I might get just simply because of the price. Um, I didn't try that particular wig on. I tried on first. If I love it, you know, in my case, I have to love the wig in order for me to buy it. I have to really like the wig. I always wanted something similar to the wig. I'm on a hunt for the mo a mohawk wig. Also, what I did um, buy was this hair here in my local beauty supply store. This hair uh, bump collection, I only paid a dollar ninety nine a pack. I say for a dollar ninety nine a pack, why not make this a project? So what I'm gonna try to do is try to go ahead and um, make me a wig. Um, I have to cap the glue and everything. I just have to do it. I've never done it before. It's been done to me as far as on the stocking cap, but. I've never done one myself before, and I was like, for $2 a pack, if I mess up, it didn't even really matter. It was $2 a pack. Local beauty store find. I thought this was a good find because I know this hair probably is a little bit more. And it could be, I guess, starting maybe on sale $3.99, and regular price probably is $7.99 on upwards. Probably no more than you know, $10 or $12, I would think. I don't know how it would be in your area. I'm in Florida, so um, hopefully... I will work on this, if not this week, this weekend, and I can't wait to uh, do a review once I get this done or if it just becomes a disaster. <laughs> but either way it goes, I will let you guys know. Thanks for taking the time out to watch me. Go vote tomorrow. Make your vote count. Today is November 5th, 2012. I voted early um, to each his own. But if you plan to vote, it's your right. Go do it. Ah, always looking to stop this thing. Okay, now.
video is officially over. Thanks for watching. Again, rate, review, comment, subscribe. Thanks.